Hi, this is Oogie, and this is a kind of 4, nearly 5 a.m. ramble of sorts, and I haven't gotten any sleep at all. Uh, this is just a random spurts of nonsense, so, yeah. Uh, what am I rambling about? Uh, mainly my want for an update or some spruce up to this add-on. Um, which is Clip Studio Modeler. Which is an add-on for Clip Studio that naturally comes with your Clip Studio Paint. And it is a free little program that is just kind of tucked away in the corner where no one can really find it. Uh, what this add-on does is normally it allows you to put in 3D models into your Clip Paint Studio. Um, mainly avatar poses or like props and items and all that fun jazz to it. But I found something out, uh, thanks for uh, thanks to some hidden videos here and there that's long tucked away. That this has a optional use uh, or use to it that I feel is underutilized and is a hidden really powerful tool for 3d model makers especially those who love to do texture work so currently i have a model of my vcat booth from vr chat uh, that i worked with my friend damon on this is a dot fbx file and if you notice there's the UVs on it because it has a material on top of it that shows the UVs. Turns out, if you have a uh, .fex or a model file that this program agrees with and that has a material already attached to it, you get this fun little option right here. Which opens up that little window in your Clip Studio Paint. Ignore the sizes, uh, like the scaling of this thing. My friend tends to make, likes to make the scaling um, of the UVs big, so I can get plenty of space to do small textures and what have you. So let me move that into the corner where you can rotate. This you cannot interact once this is open. Um, so that is a slight downside to this big window. But I have the textures right here. And the reason why I feel like this is a great and powerful tool for 3D model uh, 3D model artists, especially those who love to do texture work, is because if I say make this layer black, oh look, it instantly updates. Well, nearly updates to one per one. It still lags a little bit. But this is a powerful tool that I feel like people should know about. And... It is amazing and I love it, but goddamn, I wish it got some updates to it or like a spruce up. Like the last time it was updated was around like 2021. Uh, my problems with it one, it cannot seem to handle blind shapes all too well or shape keys, it like uh, is another word for them. Um, Reason why I say that is when I tried importing a model with a blend shape onto it with like one sing single blend shape, it kind of soft locked my computer because it kind of like tried to figure out what the fuck it was doing to a point that it took so much RAM that it just kind of froze up the cold computer. And secondly, like I said, don't mind the big texture size. I know it's that's huge in comparison so i'll basically make it uh on a smaller size um but 
think do 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 right here so, so if I colored this in you can see that right there but if I say I wanted to texture this thing and do some blending on it oh you're and you're starting to see that right it's it's struggling every time I do a single stroke it stops and has to basically save every single stroke I do which is a slight problem uh, because yeah it's auto save that's making it fair and you can possibly negate that by opening up a new project and transferring everything over and then doing it shady but if it can handle shading on the get-go with this it makes things a lot more easier personally like if I just easily just take the simplest of blend shapes here it's or well not blend shapes the blending brushes here you can see it's slightly struggling alone not to mention the UI of just this alone is complex as hell like it is iffy it is complex and confusing like i wouldn't even know that you could do this to start with if it wasn't for kind of just stumbling upon this on a random video you can also export these textures as well like I feel like this is a hidden gold mine for Clip Paint Ain't Studio or Clip Studio Paint or whatever. I'm just asking for a spruce up, making things more clearer and cleaner, and making it so it's easier for those who love the 3D mo uh, do 3D model textures to have an easier time with this. Because I feel like options for texturing 3d models are limited and kind of hard to come by <laughs> so this would be a welcomed addition to the roster of options but this is just a nearly 5 a.m no sleep ramble of sorts and such this is oogie and you all have a good one. See ya.